heading out on an 1,100-mile trip to Colorado, spending time with family for Christmas. Before I go, I need to clean the car, including the interior tinted windows. All my front windows, including the windshield, have been uh, tinted with Expel uh, tinting. And uh, yeah, that was about a year and a half ago, and they've never been uh, cleaned on the inside. So today, I'm going to show you how to properly clean your tinted windows in your Tesla without damaging them. First step in cleaning the inside of your windows is to clean the outside. You want to have the outside windows clean so that when you're cleaning the inside, you can see if there's any dirt and whether it's on the inside or the outside. At first glance, it looks perfectly clean now. Uh, yeah, but there still is a film here. Next step after washing the car is you have to wash the lip on the door windows. Let's open the door so you can get at the uh, little lip here. You want to make sure your outside glass is spotless before you do the inside. It's best to clean your windows on a cool cloudy day. Uh, you don't want the hot sun uh, baking off and drying your material before you get to wipe it off, so let's get going. First thing, lower the window just a tad. Get your clean microfiber towel. Let's it it's dry. Dang, that actually looks a lot better. Uh, if you can see this, it's perfectly clear on the passenger side. I haven't done it yet. Yeah, the little bit of a uh, haze there and some smudges on the inside. I never noticed those before. I'm using the invisible glass, but uh, you can use any of your favorite cleaners except those that have ammonia in it. Uh, ammonia tends to age the material out a little quicker and it's going to start to turn purple. Windshield, I'm going to put down a uh, cloth over the dash just so the spray doesn't get there or especially so no water runs down behind the dash. Uh, yeah, there's sensitive electronics under there and they could get damaged by too much water. As a matter of fact, when I installed the tent, uh, they put in an absorbent rope in there to soak up any excess water when they do on the installation. on uh, cleaning a screen. So for Teslas, there's two things to remember. Uh, one, you want to clean the groove here where the window goes up and also not to get any excess water behind the windshield. That'll drip down inside. Okay, that's it. Uh, it's not really rocket science, but uh, this is Grandpa Ron and I'll see you later.